everyone. <laughs> hmm. Welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I need to make fucking just outtakes of this shit. And my sidekick, Mr. Chicken. Yeah. Um, today we are going to talk about um when I realized there was no true fantasy person. Um, this was devastating to me. Um, it might be, you tell me, man, if this is something that you guys are going through, you know, watching my channel and realizing that, um, you know, we ain't your fantasy person, but, um, I mean, I know it's fucking different, but the thing is, is, um, it was during my first trauma bond. So, you know, this person, um, even though that I would always go after, you know, my new partner, um, be like, ooh, I like that motherfucker. I'm going to, you know, do the thing. Now, the thing is, is that um, I don't like when people say target, target your, you know, target somebody. But um, because you get attracted to someone yourself and you want to, you know, find out about them and learn about them and talk to them and find out the things that they like, see if, you know, ooh, that's interesting. I would like you to talk more about that, you know, or ooh, we have that shit in common, and, you know, because I like what you like. Whatever. Um, now, because, you know, I and then, you know, when I would meet somebody would be like the whole burping uh, fantasy of you know how our life is gonna be Ooh, you have to follow the script you have to be the perfect fucking motherfucker you know and um i would that's where all the you know love bombing comes in now love bombing isn't like oh my god you're so perfect i have never met anybody like you shit like that no it's um, just giving you massive amounts of attention that you crave, you know, and, um, you know, learning everything about you. Learning everything about you. Not just learning the things that I can use against you later, which are not a malicious thing. That's a self-defensive thing, keeping them in the file cabinet in case um, I need to bring them out to fuck you up. But... Um, the whole um, just learning about the things that you like as well. You know, I'm going to buy you a little fucking gift. What do you like? I'm going to buy the thing. I need you to remember me. I want you to have a trophy of me, not just me having shit of you to put on my shelf. I want to be shelved, you know, for you too, you know. Um, but when... I was with this person because they were love bombing me back. And you know what that like, you know what that's like, you know. So you're getting um, you know, fed all of this attention. You're getting fed um, you know, you're bantering, you're having jokes, everything's fucking just smooth, everything's great. You're not, you know, getting um ripped apart, destroyed, picked at, you know, you're nothing everything is 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 gold shimmer shine shimmer shine um then after going through all the stages of you know um you know devaluing discard ghosting going back um, trying to train you to be well begging for them to say that they're sorry all that fucking shit after all of that, um, when I found out that he was a lie, um, I actually wanted, the thought came over my head to unalive myself. To unalive myself. And the thing is, is that he, first I found out that um, he was writing all of these really great fucking stories and stuff and all this um really cool shit and just one day i thought 
I'm gonna Google that. <laughs> I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna see if it's bullshit. I don't know why I fucking thought that. Something must have triggered me into that, you know? And um, he was plagiarizing everything. And that just crushed me. And I was like, what else is this fucker lying about? And I was on detective mode from then on out. Everything. I questioned fucking everything. One time we were getting into a fight. He was living um, on the East Coast. And we were getting into a fucking fight. And he um, said that he traveled. I don't know what the fuck he did. But he said that he traveled, you know, by plane um, across the country. That was his job. It's probably a lie. But this is what he said. And so we got into a fight. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I'm basically, he said that he's 20 minutes away from me. But it was, it was, I was fighting and I was like, fuck you, I'm not going to see you. And I don't care. And he's like, okay, well, my, I'm here, you know, my plan just landed, you know, right down the fucking way. And I'm just like, <laughs> click. He was lying. <laughs> he was lying anyway. He just knew that I was completely fed up and that there was no way that I was going to be like, okay, I'm going to come see you. He knew. So he threw in that extra lie. And I was just like, and then, and then it was just, you know, lie after lie after lie. I mean, I never had to um, lie to people. I, I've always, you know, been just like, um, I mean, I lie to myself, but, you know, I would never um, just make up this weird shit. If I'm going to love bomb you, I'm writing you a real poem. I'm not, I'm not um, going to plagiarize some shit, you know? If if um I am if I'm listening to a song and I fucking think of you, I'm sending you the song. I'm not regurgitating something that I sent to somebody else. You know? No. I'm making everything fucking special. Um whether or not I give a big flying fuck about you or not, that's the other thing. But I'm still not going to regurgitate shit. So that made me feel even fucking lower because he was just regurgitating shit. I was watching him fucking online. He was fucking um, sending other bitches um, uh, the same fucking jokes. He, he was sending the same bitches the same joke. It was just fucking copy paste, copy paste. And I was just laughing because I knew what the fuck he was doing. I'm like, you're so dumb. <laughs> you're so dumb. But the bitches, you know, some bitches, just like me, in the beginning were like, don't be sending me shit that you send to other people. <laughs> so I was watching myself, you know, through these other fucking people happening to think. Anyway, so I knew that my fantasy wasn't real. And this is what woke me up. This is what woke me up. Because I would always do it um, um, unconsciously, you know, my whole life. Just, um, you know, uh, whether or not um, I'm going to target you. I'm going to make you, you know, okay, you're, you're going to follow the script. This is the thing that I want. And I'm going to blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to push all of um, my hopes and dreams onto you. And when you fail, then we're going to fight. And that's when everything's all boom. Um, but after this huge trauma bond and just fucking whiplash of bullshit, um, it was like, I mean, that was a fucking slap in the face, big time. And then especially when I wanted to unalive myself, I was just like, um, it turned me very dark. It turned me very dark. And it made um, a lot of my um, narcissistic traits just fucking grow big time because I was like, no one's ever going to fucking do this shit to me again. I'm sure you, some of you have um, gone the dark route too, you know? And um, so I'm like, okay, I can't abuse this person. So I'm going to go and abuse the innocent. And I made a video about that. And so um, I focused all of my hate and energy to punish others. And I want to, went on a huge fucking, you know, few year punishing tour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I honed my skills. 
and I got better and better and better. But, um, like I said, I still didn't fucking just make up shit. <laughs> it's fucking, my brain's already fucked up. It's like, if I'm going to make up a lie, I'm not going to remember it. So why not just tell the truth and then just gaslight myself like I usually do anyway. But, um, the thing is, is, um, I was very consciously aware that there was no real fantasy person. Even, even when, um, I met my last trauma bond, um, I, I, I did not make up a story for him. I did not make up a story for him. I think he made up a story for me. I didn't make up a story for him though. I knew what I was getting myself into because I tried to um, block him out of my life after, um, for a month. And I couldn't stop thinking about this fucking fucker. Um, so I went back and uh, he took me right back and then it was just like, La bump, and then everything crazy, but um, yeah, so that woke me up, and I never did the fantasy land um, again. Now, this is gonna fuck you up, even though I know that the fantasy is a lie, my brain still wants the script. My brain still wants the script. So when I like somebody, the script starts flappity flapping and fucking the pages start turning and shit. Mm -hmm. And it does it automatically. So I'm just like kind of sitting in the back fucking watching and you know, and I get all excited and stuff. And then when it doesn't pan at start start to because I can catch it really quick now um and I just let it go I don't I don't try to you know mm, anybody anymore so I'm just like I let it go and I kind of have like this mini breakup in my head <laughs> I get I get over it quick but you know I have this little breakup in my head because you know I I know that it's bullshit the script is flipping and I see that you're not following the script um, really fast now. And I'm just like, okay, we're done. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this thing with you. It's over because um, my brain cannot, cannot unscriptify yourself. It's weird, it's so weird. I can't just be like, Oh, you're your own person. It's like, no, I like what I like. And if you're not doing the fucking thing, I don't like you. So I don't know if that was helpful or not. I know that um, a lot of my videos sound like all word salad -y. Because um, this is the way my fucking brain works. It's fucking weird. It's everywhere. It's a bowl of fucking Skittles. Mm, I'm mixed with M&M's. All right. I don't know if I'm ever going to wash this fucker. I hope you have a great day. Namaste.